Former Judas Priest guitarist K.K. Downing is back with a new band, K.K.'s Priest, which reunites him with former Priest bandmate Tim Ripper Owens. They're going to release their debut album, Sermons of the Center, on August 20th. I recently had the chance to speak with K.K., and we discussed a number of topics, including his departure from Judas Priest and why he didn't cover that period in greater detail in his memoir, Heavy Duty, Days and Nights in Judas Priest. KK also has some pretty strong feelings on Rob Halford's solo work and other things that were going on in and around the band at the time. It was a bit scary writing the book, really, because I, yeah. when, I was, when, I was, when I was actually regressing there to my childhood, I mean, it got so emotional at times. It really did, you know. Um... And I think you get on a bit of a different wavelength. And, and as you get older, I think, you know, you take stock in reality. And maybe the very beginning and the, the, very, <laughs> the very end are the most important things. I think everything that happens in the middle, it's just a, it's just a minefield, isn't it? You know, um, a serious roller coaster. So, um, but... And I still keep remembering things all of the mm. time, you know. Um, but I think if I'd have gone into detail about everything in the book, I think it would have been too too thick a book to read, I think, really. It needed to keep it down to a certain length. But, you know, the details are pretty important. I think the fact is that um, what happened shouldn't have happened anyway because, you know, uh, the set of circumstances... Uh, I think I think my voice should have been for reasons I've given. I think I was I was the valid member that was very loyal and true. I didn't record with other musicians. I didn't have my own web shop. I wasn't selling my I never sold sold my own merchandise. You know I was the loyal priest fan. And if I had strong material, it always went to Judas Priest. You know, um, yeah. Rob, for example, had some. Um, some pretty good songs when he was working with Roy Z doing the songwriting, you know, but, uh, you know, I think that they, those songs should have come to Judas Priest, really, you know. Uh, yeah. Everything I had that was strong came to Judas Priest, you know. I never took strong material and, and, and took it elsewhere, you know. So I think that when things were coming to a head at the end of 2010, when Rob released two studio albums, and did a world tour that year, you know, it wasn't sitting well, not just with me, not with anyone, you know, there, there was a lot of circumstances. Um, but it just felt like if there was issues that really needed to be discussed, they, then they would get resolved, but not by me. I was just kind of being expected to tag along with the people that had assess that they'd resolve the issues, you know. That's the one and only legendary K.K. Downing. Find more from K.K. by clicking the link in this video's description and make sure to subscribe to our UCR channel here on YouTube for all of the best news and history of classic rock and pop culture.